Welcome back to KinderSwift. I'm Steve from MakeAppPy.com. So far we've learned to declare variables like this, and functions like these two, or a function like this. Notice in this function we added one new thing, the percent at modifier in the format. This allows you to add strings to your format. You can do a few concatenations, but this is easier. All of this describes a pizza. What would be great is if we treated it like an object that was a pizza. Swift and most modern computer languages do exactly that. They make things called objects. In Swift, objects and types have very little difference. We can make a type, which we call a class. In the class, we can add variables and functions to describe any pizza. Once done, we have a new defined type. One more thing about classes. Their functions can use the variables within the class. Note that we use diameter in the function. The function got some information from outside the function, not its parameters. Usually, we like to have all of our information in the parameters, but we make an exception for variables within a class, which is why the whatPizza function has no parameters. It gets its information from the variables. To explain this all better, let's build a pizza class, then use it a bit. To make a class, you declare it like we declared func, var, and let though this time with the keyword class. We type class and an identifier followed by a code block like a function, though no parameters. Classes get capital letters in their identifiers. This way it is very easy to know when we're using a class or something else. Try to keep to this rule as much as possible. An empty pizza class could get written like this. That's it. Of course, this is pretty boring. Let's take all the code we just reviewed and place that in a pizza class. Add all the code we just reviewed, and then, on top of it, add this. Add a closing brace at the bottom. You just defined your first class. Let's make your first pizza. Type this. Much of this looks familiar to you. We just assigned a constant pizza to the initializer function myPizza, which has the same name as the class. Swift builds the initializer for us. We just have to use it. In later lessons, we'll learn how to make our own initializers. Now that we just made a MyPizza object called Pizza, type this. The playground displays the topping. We gave the name of the object and the name of one of our variables after a period. Variables within a class are called properties. That makes sense. The size and toppings of a pizza are properties of that pizza. Now type this. We get in the console the results of our whatPizza function. Functions in the class are called methods. We access the whatPizza method like we did the property. We type the object, then a dot after the object, followed by the method. Try these. We have learned a few classes so far, including UI Color, which has only methods. Let's introduce another class which has plenty of properties to work with, UI Label. UI Label places a label on the screen. We will actually place labels on the screen in our next lesson, but to practice using properties, we'll use it in the playground for right now. Type this. Since my label is a user interface object, it does not show up in the playground. Did my label get in the text? Type this. Yep, it did. In a real app, we use the text property instead of print line to display data. We can change colors and labels using the background color and text color properties. Both are UI colors. Type this and this. Check your results. And we have the colors. Next time, we're graduating from the playground and starting a project in the storyboard using everything we've learned to make a real app. If you want a challenge, try these. 1. Add a deep dish pizza volume method to the pizza app. 2. Add a property to the pizza class that is a UI label, pizza label. 3. Add another method, display area, that displays a pizza area to a label. 4. Add a method that returns a string of the volume then make another method that uses it to place a volume in the pizza label. I'll post solutions to these in a separate video.